It's festive eve and I receive a wrapped up present. It's Assassin's Creed. I open it up. I feel so cheerous. I can't believe it's Assassin a Christmas. Ah. Every good video should start with a ah. Merry Christmas, everybody. It is Christmas. It doesn't feel like it, but it kind of does at the same time. I don't know if that makes any sense, but it does to me. I thought I'd check in one last time before Christmas in a chill sort of format to kick back, have some fun, talk about Christmas things. Obviously, Assassin's Christmas. You, you, you can't forget about Assassin's Christmas. But yeah, I just want to check in with you guys one last time. Have a talk about Christmas. Have a talk about Assassin's Creed. Chill out and go into... I was going to say the new year, but I guess this works for New Year's. Well. But go into Christmas with a bang. Say, what a good year we had. And um, cheers to, to, to the next one or something like that. I got given this Christmas hat on a night out last night. I was very drunk and... Now I'm kind of hungover, but you know, this is the way it goes at Christmas is what you got to do. And I got a hat out of it. Yeah. Thank you for a good year. This has been my first full year making content on this channel. Now I did do content the year before, but that was from September to December. So you, you can't really call it two years on the platform really, can you? This has been my first full year. I think it's gone really well from covering a lot of Assassin's Creed Mirage news, which I'm I'm so glad that is done and over with, to the fun videos here and there, such as the Bloodlines PSP video, and my very recently made, because I posted it yesterday, Assassin's Creed Discovery for the DS video, which you should definitely check out if you haven't already, because it's a, it's a, it's, it's, oh, yeah. So for me, this is a nice time just to reflect, think proud of what I've done, and again, thank you guys for actually tuning in, supporting me, appreciating my content and making me realize that I'm not just a massive dickhead on the internet. Well, no, I am, but no, 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 I am. I am, yeah. Just remind. <laughs> Assassin Christmas. Sorry, I, I just had to say something to do with Assassin's Creed so that you guys don't tune out because I haven't mentioned Assassin's Creed, you know, yet. So yeah, the year on the channel has been really successful, really good, really fun. And in my life in general, it's also been pretty good. A while back, I was telling you guys on stream that I was going to be moving to London. And that was a solid plan for quite a while. And the reason I didn't end up doing that is because I actually found a really good job doing what I enjoy. Now, I do that full time, so YouTube on top, it just it takes away and eliminates any free time that you can really fathom. But yeah, I'm making, you know, a little bit of the money now, which is something I've been wanting to do for a long time because uh, I was kind of broke for a while. But you know, it's, it's the way life goes and it's it's been a good year in general as well. I ended up going from a man who thought he was going to be alone forever to meeting an actual lovely lady as well. So that has also been nice and she helped me out with the last video actually. So yes, shout out to Chloe. Life's going well and I hope life's going well for you guys too. This is kind of just an update. I'm not trying to brag. I'm just trying to give you guys life updates because I feel like that's definitely very important when it comes to making content and, and engaging with a community of people. Let people know what you're doing in your life and stuff like that. And something else I love about Christmas is that you actually get a lot more free time than you'd think. Now, for me, usually in the past, I'd be way busier than usual at Christmas because I'd have a lot of free time, you know, through the week. Just be working part time and stuff like that. And then I'd, I'd be really busy at Christmas because I'd be meeting up with friends, doing this, doing that. Now it kind of feels the opposite. I've been busy at work loads, doing all of what I got to do in my life. And now Christmas sort of break has come around. And I'm just sat here, I'm just chilling, I'm just doing whatever, so that's kind of nice. With that said, I think what we'll do for a minute is we'll log in, if you will, to an Assassin's Creed game that very much reminds me of Christmas. It isn't a Christmas game, though Assassin's Creed game really is. But I have this memory in my head being 13 years old, running through the rooftops of Paris and Versailles around Christmas time, thinking, this is a good feeling, I feel the vibe, there's something about this feeling right now, and it was at Christmas time, and I felt Christmassy. And I kinda wanna try and recreate that today, so without further ado, let's just 
play a bit of Assassin's Creed Unity. All right, here we are in Assassin's Creed Unity. And I don't think we're going to do really any missions or anything today. We're just going to run around, do some parkour, just have a chat. I think that's the that's the best thing to do in a little, you know, vlog style Christmassy video. So when it comes to the parkour, I, I'm so out of tr training, so out of touch with it at the moment because it's been so long. I used to run into Unity and just like get parkour footage to put over my videos. You know, when I was doing Mirage news videos, that sort of thing. I'm sure you guys remember. But now, you know, that I don't really do videos like that anymore. It's more kind of, I'd like to think, better put together videos. I don't really get into the games and just do parkour like I used to. So let's see if we're any good anymore. <laughs> now, a lot of people say this parkour was the best. And I think a lot of you guys know my opinion on the parkour in this game. Like... It's been a lot worse, but it's also been a lot better. It's definitely the visually the best parkour we've had in an Assassin's Creed game. But I think when it comes to the actual mechanics of the parkour and, and how it plays, you had a lot more control over how you moved, where you moved and stuff like that in, you know, the, the Ezio games, even the first game. Sure, like you do a you do a flip like this. That looks sick, you know, and and you couldn't do that in the older games. And some would say that is all it takes to, to make it an objectively better, uh, you know, parkour system. And that's fair enough. But for me, yeah, it looks good and it definitely feels good. But it, it lacks the control the older games has, I think. You know, side eject is in... Oh, what was that? <laughs> side eject is in this game. Let's see if we can do a side eject. And I'll get up on here real quick. I mean, that's kind of a side eject. I don't really know what that was. Yeah, that's the thing. You see what I mean? I str I'm struggling. I'm, I'm going here. I want to side eject there. And it kind of works, kind of doesn't. Whereas in the older Ezio games, I could really precisely side or back eject wherever I wanted to go. Same if we do a back eject. Okay, okay that works better. But it, 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 it almost feels slow and sluggish in a way. Anyway, I'm not complaining about it. I'm just chatting. We're just chilling. You know, this is a very nostalgic game for me unity and it's one of my favorite assassin's creed games i know it's maybe not the best written or or doesn't have the again the best mechanics in the series but it's kind of one of those games you hold special because it feels good to play you were at a certain time in your life when you played it that you can look back and be like yeah yeah that was a that was a good time and again running through the rooftops like this I was just doing this at the beginning of Unity in Versailles in 2014 at Christmas time. And I remember it was the day of the the pantomime in my local city. Now, every year we go to, me and my family, we go to the, the pantomime. It's what we've done since I was tiny and, and we still do it. And, you know, I've got younger family members that are kids now that are enjoying it. And it's just something I love to do every year. It's really funny. It's great. And I remember we were probably going to go at seven. Well, it would have started like half seven. So we would have left at like six or something or 6.30. Doesn't matter about the time. <laughs> and uh, I remember I was just playing Unity. I was running through the rooftops just like this, really excited for the evening and just thinking this is going to be great and feeling like, oh, yeah, it's Christmas now because, you know, the year of the pantomime, we've done it already this year now. We do it about the 15th, 16th, 17th each year. And uh, for me, that marks the first sort of day of Christmas, really, the first day of the festivities. So when I play Unity now, it, it makes me feel like I'm I'm at Christmas time, you know, even though it's got nothing to do <laughs> with Christmas. But but there you go. What's this? See what I mean? Now? I wanted to do a side eject sort of thing onto. Um, yeah, I didn't want to go there either. I wanted to do a side eject onto that pole. And that's the thing, in the older games, it would have been, you would have just done it. But now, it didn't let me do it. Do you see what I mean? It didn't let me do it. And it's not a skill issue. It's um, a fundamental mechanic of the game that is, is lacking compared to the older games. Again, I'm not complaining. I just find it hard when I'm playing something like an Assassin's Creed game. I get very analytical. And again, I'm not saying it's a bad thing. I'm just observing it, really. Here we are. Here we are. It's Christmas Eve as I'm recording. And it's, it's going to come out on Christmas Day. And uh, yeah, this is just something I wanted to do for you guys. Sort of 
something you can watch in the afternoon at Christmas after you've eaten, you're feeling full, you just need a little bit of time to just chill out, put your headphones in, watch a video. This is that one, maybe. And comment below if it is you right now, chilling, listening to this video, or watching this video. Now, after Mirage, I uh, felt pretty kind of disappointed <laughs> with the way the series is going. You know, it was meant to be a return to roots, this whole thing. And, and it was to a lot of people, and that's fair enough. But to me, it, it just... It was not very good to me. I didn't like the game. I, I didn't enjoy it. And, you know, that makes me look to the future of Assassin's Creed and and, and subsequently the future of my channel and think, well, okay, what, what do I want to do? And I, I still want to keep it an Assassin's Creed channel for, for the foreseeable future because I enjoy doing that and I know so much about the series. It's, it's fun for me to do. And... I'm thinking, you know, right now the best thing for me to do and the most enjoyable thing for me to do when making content is to do something similar to what I did uh, with the AC Discovery video that came out yesterday or by the time you guys are watching it, the day before yesterday. I want to make videos on older games, you know, the, my favorite Assassin's Creed games and what I think and stuff like that and just have fun doing it. Again, with my shorts as well, talk about the Assassin's Creed lore and I'm probably going to do some, uh, you know, long form videos of, of that sort of format as well. And I just got to experiment and do what I find fun, really. And again, that makes me ask myself the question, what will I do with, a, oh, Jesus Christ. What will I do with, uh, you know, games like Assassin's Creed Codename Red? Will I cover it? Will I, will I play it? And I think the conclusion I've come to with that is, I will cover AC Codename Red and maybe even future games after that. I will cover it. I will talk about it because I will have something to say. As long as I have something to say, then it makes sense for me to talk about it. Um, will I play the game? Listen, it, it, if, it was, if I think it's a good game and I think I'll like it, then I'll play it. But I just, I think after Mirage, I, I don't think it's possible for me to like a new Assassin's Creed game again just due to the fact that it's... I feel like the vision they have for the series is not the vision I would personally have and not the same vision as it as it once was. So again, for that reason, I don't think I will bother playing Codename Red because I don't think I'm going to like it, especially seeing it's the same developers as Odyssey, which is, in my opinion, uh, not a good game. It's, it's, just, it's not for me, let's just say that. Let's just say that. And I'm, 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 I'm not... I, how to say, I wouldn't be surprised, let's say, or I'd be very, very surprised if it did turn out to be a game that I think is a good Assassin's Creed game. So again, I think I'll cover it, give my thoughts, but I don't know if it will go as far as to playing it. And as I replied to a comment the other day, I don't think I'll, I'll definitely not go as far as to be making an hour long critique on it like I did with uh, Mirage. So that's kind of where I stand with the future for Assassin's Creed games you know, the future of Assassin's Creed games on my channel. It's going to be something I want to talk about. Something It's going to be something I'll talk about when I want to talk about it, but uh, it's not going to be something that I extensively cover like I did with Mirage. It's just not the direction I want to take the channel. I want to take the channel with more content that I feel proud of, scripting out these, you know, these long-form videos. Again, such as the Bloodlines video, the Discovery video, even the Ranking the Protagonist video. I really enjoyed making those. And I'll just carry on doing what I enjoy, really. There's no point doing something if you don't enjoy it. Uh, so that that's the sort of philosophy I'm going to live by. And and that's the way I kind of see it. I think what we're going to do right now is we're going to we're gonna run over to whatever this is. We're going to save this person. If I can. If I can. If I can. Oh, my God. I'm trying to air us that. Fuck's sake. <laughs> oh, see, do you know what I mean? This game looks good, but it is just clunky. All right, come back, bro. Come back, bro. Where are you at? Why are you, why are you running like that? <laughs> all right. All right. All right. That'll do. That'll do. That'll do. There we go. I, I just wanted to sort of jump into the game, have a little chat. Not very long, but there, there you have it. Ah, it, it feels good to, to, to be at the end of the year. I feel like I've hit a milestone with this channel. Again, 16,000, almost 17,000 subscribers is... is a, I, let's just say... I didn't imagine hitting this in January 2023 when I probably had about 1,000 subscribers. Yeah, I'm guessing I did. So I've gone up a whole almost 16,000 subscribers in a year. And 
to some that might not be much, but to someone like me, that is that's a tr that's a tremendous amount, you know. Who knows? Maybe by the end of next year, we can hit thirty thousand, fifty thousand. Maybe we'll we'll see. We'll see. I'm just enjoying myself, and and that's all it should be at the end of the day. So, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys have a great Christmas. Open presents. Eat lots of food. Spend time with the family. Play some Assassin's Creed, and and most importantly, Assassin Christmas. Mm -hmm.